Hi, my name's Joe from MakeUseOf.com, and this is the Anycubic Photon S LCD SLA 3D printer. This fully enclosed 3D printer is perfect for producing ultra high quality designs such as wargaming minis, and it retails for $489, but is it worth your money? Let's find out. The Photon S uses a vat of liquid plastic known as resin. This is cured through the use of an LCD monitor and a series of UV LEDs. When exposed to a specific wavelength of UV light, the resin cures. By using an LCD monitor, it's possible to mask a UV LED to produce basic shapes. Stack enough of these shapes together and you end up with a 3D printed part. The Photon S is a sleek, compact unit. It's small enough to fit on most desks and it's not too noisy either. The futuristic door opens upwards to reveal your parts like something from the Blade Runner universe. On the front is a colour touchscreen which operates the printer and you use the included USB drive to put your sliced models on. The Photon S features a 0.78 inch per hour printing speed, it weighs 13 pounds and it uses a 2560 by 1440 pixel LCD display. It can print layers as fine as 25 microns or as coarse as 100 microns and has a total build volume of 4.5 by 2.6 by 6 inches. SLA printers dunk the bed into a pool of resin and gradually lift up to reveal your print. This bed must be perfectly parallel to the LCD screen, otherwise you will not get good results. Fortunately, this is fairly easy to do. You remove the resin tank, you put a piece of paper in the bottom, you undo a screw and you move the bed all the way to the bottom. When you can no longer move the piece of paper, you press a button to set your height and tighten up the screws and you're done. Once the bed is leveled, you're ready to go. You can move the bed out of the way, remove the paper, install the vat, fill up with resin, put the included flash drive in and press print. It really is that simple compared to FDM printing. As prints are submerged in a bath of liquid resin, which isn't very good for your health, they need some cleaning up after printing. You have to use a strong alcohol such as 99.9% .9 isopropyl to clean off any uncured resin. Then you have to clean off the alcohol and then you have to allow your parts to cure by sitting them in a strong UV light. The Photon S comes with a software package to slice your 3D models into printer instructions. This is a fairly basic tool, but it does just about get the job done. It lets you add supports, it lets you configure basic settings such as your layer height and exposure time, but it is a very basic tool. While it does work okay, it does struggle at times. Sometimes it can be very slow at slicing, and other times it will just refuse to finish slicing, especially if you have 15 or 20 models you want to print at the same time. The Photon S produces stunning prints and it's almost impossible to see any layer lines at all, even at the coarsest setting of 100 microns. This is the biggest selling point of a Photon S and it is so worth it. If you move up to 25 micron layer heights, you can produce jaw dropping prints, but this comes at the expense of print time and you can expect to spend close to 20 hours of machine time on a one inch figure printed at 25 microns. The Photon S is a stunning 3D printer and the quality of parts produced by this machine far exceed any other style of printer, especially FDM. That said, the price tag of $489 is on the high side when compared to other entry-level SLA printers. And SLA printing is not for everyone. The resin can smell, you need to be careful around bright lights in case you cure your resin, and prints need cleaning up afterwards. If you're prepared for the cleanup process, and the Photon S suits your style of 3D printing, then you will not be disappointed. The print quality alone is the biggest selling point, and while the instruction manual could be clearer, you can have a print up and running within an hour. There's also a large community around Anycubic's machines, so should you encounter any problems, there are various places you can turn to to solve them. Thanks for watching this review, and as always, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below telling us what you think of it. Make sure you read our written review in the comment section below and subscribe to make use of it if you've not done so already for more news, tutorials, reviews and giveaways. If you're still watching this part of the video then we have a great treat for you. Our friends at Anycubic have given us a brand new Photon S to give away to one lucky reader. All you have to do to enter our giveaway contest is go to our review link in the description below. Scroll to the bottom of our review and you can enter our giveaway contest. If you enter the code SLA into our giveaway box, you'll gain an extra entry.